Hello Dawn's Inspirations here, you've just caught me. I'm finishing off one of the new page folds which is the double pocket page from the 8 inch memory bo books from Pink Frog. So I'll leave a link below this video where you can find the videos to make this new page fold. So let me just add the pattern papers to this. So I can just get those stuck down. Now I'm using an unusual kit for this. I'm using actually one of the mini kits from Celebrate. So the mini kits actually come with um, six by eight papers in them, but they're perfect for this sort of combination because you've got the different sizes. So they work really well. So let's get this stuck in. I think that one's I've stuck that too far down, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of snipping because I've already stuck that down. Stick your papers in before. Works really well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line that up there. Make myself a little notch there and there. And just with my scissors... I'm going to take just that little piece out. See, there's always a way around, don't I? I tell you this all the time. So that's going to fit perfectly in there. So let's get that now glued in using my fine nozzle glue bottles from Pink Frog. Okay, and then I'm just going to slide that into there, making sure that is central. Give that a good burnish down. I'm just going inside the pocket area as well. And let's do the same on this side. If I go a little bit, because I stuck it down too early. So again, I'm just going to do a little mark there and there and do a little snip. That's it. Let's just make sure that fits in, which it does. So now we can attach the glue onto there so I do like this new page fold and this just shows you how projects develop you know when I designed the albums for Pink Frog to go with the memory book kits it just shows us things develop move on that you come up with other ideas which is fabulous I think and also if you bought it in the past it's making your projects go even further which again to me is a win-win so adding the panel on the front so I'm just doing this one with decorative papers but I'm going to share another video of some of the finished samples because when the, the finished samples are on the counter on telly we don't often get a chance to go through them and the design team do such a fantastic job that I'm going to do a video showcasing these for you. So with this one, you've got two large pockets. So you can put a photo mat in that one. And we can have a photo mat in that one. So I've used the tonal kit for this. I've got the dark grey on the outside and then I've got the lighter brown on the top. So now let's add that to our book. So I've got my book already here so this is going to go onto this side so I'm going to remove my double sided tape and then go around the edge as close to the edge as you can okay again with your glue this EVA glue is really good because it's acid lignin free which is perfect for the memory book projects but also less is best because it's a great book binding glue. So I've got the small pocket 
towards the spine and the larger pocket outside of the spine. So I'm going to line up this edge first with here. So lining that together. That's it. Making sure that's lined up first. I've still got my hand under here where the red line tape is. When I'm happy that's in the right place, I can then press this down. Now, obviously, at this stage, you've got all the pages, so you do have to be a bit mindful. Normally, what I would do is take the photo mats out. I'm going to lay it down on this side, take these ones out as well and then I can really give that a good burnish okay just to get those pages to stick nicely together just make sure around the edge you've got no glue that's seeping out which I haven't so I'm happy with that so let me pop the photo mats in so this is the new double pocket page fold that you can do with the 8x8 uh, memory books from Pink Frog. There's also, you can do the same fold with the 6x6 memory books as well, or the 6 inch kits from Pink Frog. So I'll leave the link below to show you the measurements for those as well. So that's all nicely done. So let me just pop the lid on the glue. Always wipe the end of your glue bottle. Okay, let's pop that on. And then I'm going to walk you through this lovely book. So as I've said, this has been used with one of the Celebrate um, mini packs. So even though you haven't got 8x8 papers, you can barely see the scene down here okay so don't be afraid of joining elements together you know even down the spine here I've shared I've sort of joined it I could put a strip of paper down there but time I pop some word in across there you won't notice it on the back here I ran out of some of that paper so I just put some wood grain paper down that's the great thing about it it all matches in can you see works perfectly so you know with the 8x8 books from Pink Frog Kits that you can just pop them to the side like that for postage. So they're nice and easy, quick postage. And when you view them, the books, the way the spine is devised, that you can lay them flat to view. So let's have a little look at what we've got inside to give you some more inspiration if you haven't used yours. Now this pocket here, this triangular pocket here, is created because when we actually do the hinge, you only need three strips. So the piece that's left, I've actually used to create a diagonal pocket here on the front. And then the reverse of it, I've used here on the back. So I've literally used it all. So great way to utilise that. I've even used the little cut parts from the collection to do little tuck spots behind there. So more photos can go in there. You could put memorabilia or more photo mats if you wish there. You've obviously got your two pockets on every page for photographs. I mean, this size is great for two six by fours. And then on the, the larger one, you could do some cut down photographs or just put two six by fours on again okay but that slides into there nicely you know i just like to have them that it just looks like another i'm going to put it out a bit just looks like another sort of square can you see you've got going on underneath but then if we turn it over You've got even more spaces for photographs. This one hasn't gone in properly. Let's slide that in. But just by adding elements from the collection to the edges, it's giving it a totally different look. So just adding all those little extra embellishments on there. Your choice. But once this is filled with photographs, and the nice thing in, even with this paper collection, you've got space for journaling 
as well that you can add on to here so right towards the end and again you know another one with little tuck spots behind but you've got that large triangular pocket as well so this is where you can decorate them and add all these little extra elements so they're fabulous but fabulous kits because you can make four from one kit which is great they look great when they're all stood along a bookshelf together but also make to sell if you make to sell your purchases as long as you've made it and decorated it make to sell these are going to go really well on a craft store anywhere so i'm dawn mcphee from dawn's inspirations so i hope you've enjoyed looking through this if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do and check out what else is there and don't forget to check out the pink frog facebook group pink frogs inspirations and dawn's inspirations and i look forward to seeing you very soon Bye for now.